I thought my dog was throwing up for a sec. I got super scared and was like, party's over. I'm not gonna be able to go out. Sorry. Let's go pump. Everyone is questioning my life choices. And at this point, I am two. I took a shower with the lights off. It was soothing. That's kind of what I was trying to get at. The ambiance was dark and lonely. We have a birthday party to go to today. It's my mom's cousin's baby. She's turning one. This has nothing in it. I'm gonna use the last ounce of this baby. What are you talking about? What am I gonna wear? I have no freaking idea. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna wear this. I'm so excited about the baby's gift though. I got her a little cute two-story two-piece. It is adorable. And then I got her another little um, toy that I found that she could basically throw rings on a whale when she's in the bath. Like how cute. My eyes are red. I'm gonna go put on eye drops because I really need them. And I'm gonna go get the rest of myself ready. So I'm thinking I'll see you there. Guys, I didn't even show y'all what I ate, but let me go inside and show y'all because it was so yummy. Like I could just not wait to show y'all. I had to consume it. Consume it right away, baby. All right, let me go inside and show y'all. So she made pork and then down here, is some good chicken and then she made beans and some like good rice <gasps> like it was absolutely amazing and she has like ribs over there everything's like so good a tall michelada just for me and it's so good i'm absolutely happy right now. <laughs> My mom wants to leave already and I'm just like, mother, you're in my car today. We're staying till I say we go. But I don't know, she's probably inside eating cake. I'm probably gonna joke. Probably gonna go over there and eat some too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you woke up to this morning. Last night was fun. Honestly, it was probably the most fun that I've had in a while. I am grateful for it and I will cherish these moments. But truly the issue here is me. <laughs> my cousins are super welcoming. So they're my mom's cousins, but I call them my cousins. They're so welcoming, so loving, friendly, very social. They will make friends with anybody and everybody. And it's just so beautiful. It's just something that we have in our blood because I know that I'm like that. But deep down right now, like I cannot search through that patch of dirt to find where my social butterfly is. I just, I don't know where it is. I don't know. Like. I am not as social as I used to be, where I used to be making jokes and cracking fun. Is that even a thing? But you get it, like, it's, it's, it's Jaris, like, is not there anymore. I miss that Jaris, but I don't know how she ended up on the other side of the world, buried under the largest volcano in the world, let's just say that, that hasn't erupted. Like, I am just ready for this social butterfly Jaris to erupt from that volcano and come back to me because it's just, it's just not the same. I am trying to find the root cause of what happened. Kind of have a feeling like what it is, but then I'll just leave that to my therapist. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat some menudo. That's kind of basically how the world is. We just eat right now and eat and eat. Maybe that's the issue. I'm eating too much and I'm feeling too low, baby. <laughs> Oh, 
these are my favorites. Right here, these bad boys. Right here, mommy. Isn't that cool? That's very advanced. My mom's really trusting me to hold this and I don't think I am physically or mentally capable as they grab more bread. Lil's just sucking on his thumbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much do you think my mom's gonna spend on all this bread? 41. I think 38. So let's see who's the winner. All right. 37.95. I was close. 37.95. I said, buy five cents. Okay. This is the good. We have some tacos de barbacoa, menudo, and my small Sprite and some apple juice. Are y'all watching me eat? Those is where the hoes are at. We're getting all the wood for our storage. And they're going back and forth trying to figure out if we should use this block or this block. And my uncle's saying this block. Our other, let's just say family friend, <laughs> is saying this block. We don't know. But we have a whole bunch of wood for a whole bunch of good. Not many cute men here, let me tell you that. Just a whole bunch of great, amazing workers bringing the power of Lowe's together and forming a great bond with customers. Okay, honestly, no. No, the sliding is good though. <sighs> Lowe's restrooms are out. So we had to use this big porta potty outside. Not the gray one, it's the white one. Pretty neat. They have a couple of stalls in there. Lots of privacy, better than the porta potties. We came to Dutch Bros. This is the first time ever. So, so yeah, this is a, I don't know, she said white chocolate with, what? Was almond? Almond strawberry. strawberry, and it's good. It tastes like <laughs> bubble gum. And then the one I originally got was Ray of Sunshine, and this there tastes like go. straight alcohol. And I was just like, no ma'am, like I need something else so we went back we were gonna obviously pay for our drinks but we we're gonna like you know and she was just like no grab what you want and you don't have to pay we are at a restaurant Hello, and welcome to this beautiful Wednesday, Thursday, whatever day it is. I personally am sick and tired of giving Starbucks. Oh, my dog wants to come inside. It's freezing. I probably should let her and give me a sec. <laughs> so like I was saying, I am so done with giving Starbucks my money. The only ten dollars that i have why ten dollars because every time i go i crave something else on the menu like the banana or pumpkin bread or a spinach feta wrap and i just have to get it for myself i have to like i have to but anyways these past couple of times that i've been going to starbucks my drink has been terrible it genuinely has i order the caramel macchiato but there's not a lot of macchiato in that caramel macchiato and it's frustrating it's more than anything just milk now i'm not a huge coffee drinker like i don't drink coffee i get heart palpitations but i at least get a shot and if i want to go hard i'll get two shots but that's a rare uh occasion right times when i go to the specific starbucks it is bussin like it is a caramel wonder and it tastes so good and it's like if that barista wanted to make it right with such a passion but when i go to this other specific starbucks they hate me there 
they just throw milk in my cup, put ice in it and give it to me and tell me, have a freaking wonderful day. So I took it upon myself to go to HEB. I bought Starbucks Blonde Roast Black Unsweetened Coffee. I bought the Ghirardelli Caramel Sauce Premium to be exact. And I got some Real Dairy HEB car Salted Caramel Creamer. I don't know if this is the best creamer there is. I've never ever had it. And it's probably not the best. <laughs> but we're just gonna try it. There was a Starbucks version of this, but just caramel, not the um, salted caramel. I didn't have that available, but just caramel. And I was like, no, baby, I want salted caramel. So let's try to create this drink, shall we? This is not a Starbucks cup. So this is a Jaris's Buck cup. What we're gonna start off with is the caramel sauce. The way I like it is around my cup. This is the way my cup should look, okay? Not all the way at the bottom, smothered down there. No, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Why? I don't know why, I just spit all over myself. Maybe it'll harden to where I want it, exactly. Right there, like this. Okay, shut up. While that's hardening in there, we're gonna start with our main base. A cup of whole milk. Don't go no skim, don't go no cocoa, whole milk. Then, we are gonna add a shot of espresso, blonde espresso. I think that's a shot, I'm just guessing. And this is espresso, right? I don't know. I don't know my coffees. I just know that it tastes good whenever I do it. I spilled that, okay? Then you're gonna get your frother. Oh no, you're not supposed to do that. That's how you do it. Look, you gotta stick it in there first. Just mix that all together. Okay, we're making a mess, we're gonna stop. You see how the caramel is still there? You're gonna get a cup of ice. And maybe not even a cup, just like this. Maybe even less, because I'm not like that. And you're gonna pour, baby. Why am I making a mess? And we're gonna add some good old creamer. Not any kind of cream milk. Cream milk. Creamer, salted creamer, 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 salted creamer. Oh, this smells so good. Open up that bad boy, pour it in there, baby. I don't know how much is gonna fill the top, but we're just gonna say that much. Froth, 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 froth. Was this a lot of creamer? Possibly, but we don't mind. Right in there. Dolly, baby. Okay, then we're gonna drizzle some on top. Why is my hand like that? <laughs> Something smells fishy. I hope it's not the milk being rancid. <laughs> and there you have it. Why is it not closing again? Jars is bucks. Wow. I knew it all along. Look, this barista even wrote, have a blessed day. Oh, she's amazing. <laughs> well, there you have it, kids. You can literally make your own Starbucks drinks at home. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. You're the best, the very best. And um, stay warm, Texas, because we're about to freeze over again. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and um, come back, subscribe, please or I'll mix you with my frother. Mm.